So then there's electrophysiology techniques, um, and these are both stimulating techniques and recording techniques. You can deliver electricity to impact the flow of information, uh, and you can also record the electrical activity uh, of neurons in the brain. You know, neurons use electricity, right, to carry messages along their axons. Um, and this processing can be interrupted, it can be initiated, it can be influenced, disrupted, you know, by electrical stimulation. Um, and I've mentioned, you know, earlier in, in other lectures here, um, how you can, uh, you know, use stereotaxic surgery, for example, to um, deliver a cannula uh, down and, you know, deliver drugs into a part of the brain. You can also, you know, uh, descend an electrode to a specific portion of the brain. Uh, at Oregon Health and Science University, there's been a lot of research and a lot of work, and there's a lot of clinical you know, uh, engagement with patients uh, over the implantation of what they call deep brain stimulating electrodes, uh, you know, into portions of the basal ganglia to help relieve, um, you know, the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, uh, for example. These are called stimulating electrodes. Uh, but you can also record electrodes, uh, you know, record electrical activity by putting in what they call recording electrodes. And uh, the U.S. Department of Defense has actually uh, done a lot of research or sponsored a lot of research on um, the implantation of arrays of electrodes, like, you know, sort of, um, you know, sets of electrodes across parts of the frontal lobe, for example, which is, you know, critically important for, you know, movement and, you know, uh, planning and engaging in, you know, sort of voluntary movements um, to actually record patterns of activity uh, and then wirelessly send to prosthetic devices, you know, your, your, uh, you know, a new prosthetic arm, for example, you know, commands to basically move back and forth. Uh, and this has, you know, been really a remarkable, you know, advance in the development of prosthetics. Um, you know, if you have sort of uh, spinal cord transection, you've, you know, had an injury that, you know, cuts the spinal cord. Um, you know, now they can they can literally implant a, a set of recording electrodes directly into the frontal lobe, you know, to get your intention, wirelessly transmit that pattern, you know, to the actual prosthetic and allow it to move in specific ways. Uh, so these electrophysiological techniques are, um, you know, quite critical and quite important. They can tell us lots of things about what's going on in the brain, and then we can also disrupt certain portions of the brain or stimulate certain portions to, to see, 